All right, let's play this cycle. You got this view and then we have a three quarter view. Cool. And then we have a front view as well. So uh, presentation wise, I think it would be awesome if possible to um, if you could put the if you could put is that English <laughs> if the front view could be here and then the uh, side view that's my dinosaur uh, will be here that way I can see both at the same time that would be very helpful I'm gonna start though with the side one here you're talking about in your mail about your leg stretching over a couple frames it's not super bad I don't mind as much. There are a couple of things here. I'm thinking this in terms of size. Because there's a couple of things. When I look at this, there's, there's a certain harshness in here for weight. Which is cool. But the thing is, it feels a bit... I will probably not go further than something where the legs are stretched out like this there's something almost human to having a leg out like this it feels i would keep this in this kind of area where it's always just bent enough just in terms of the leg shapes it's just ever so slightly too stretched out for me then the other thing is just as you if you scrub it's just it might just be enveloping but if you could on passing poses like this it feels like everything is very isolated here i don't see anything happening in here i see the texture moving but there's something where i don't know if you have extra controllers to push that side of the hip up i will probably do a side to side rotations as well not just in y but also side to side there just otherwise it seems like there's such a flat area that does that never really changes which brings me to the next point that when you have such a boom Boom, boom. Pretty harsh impact, and it's mainly you can see it in here. It's not enough. Maybe, and also if you could have the shot run longer for a loop, so that I can frame through the loop. Unfortunately, this and actually it doesn't let me frame through to the beginning. But there's something about when this hits. It's a pretty harsh wobble hit there, which I don't mind. But because of that, boom. To me, everything seems to be falling down flat at the same time, where I'm missing on this more drag, also in the chest and in the head, and then on the drop, this could rise and drag a bit. I'm exaggerating how much, but so you have more of a boom impact where this comes down. Everything seems very flat through here, and now then up and down, so that you see changes in in the uh, hip area compared to the middle chest there. And then the feet feel kind of soft as they come down one two three it seems like here it's two but it just feels like three frames it just feels kind of soft how they plant and there seems a bit of a hiccup there where you go over this way and then it kind of stops it's pretty straight towards the end your path and then suddenly it comes down. It's almost like a little bit of a pause there, and then it sums down versus a bit more of a, a bit more of a fluid drop there. I think the up and down here is pretty good, but I want to feel just a bit more boom on that impact, really going through from here to here. Now that being said, I am not familiar with this type of. Dinosaur and its anatomy, you know, in terms of is this how they have their tails? I would have to do some more research. Um, unless you have some reference. I'm just curious how loose that tail can be. Depending on the size, this seems more like a small dinosaur given how straight this is. But then again, you see the stretching and the texture here. But then I don't I feel like with all of this going on here. 
right? You see all that stuff rotating. I feel like there needs to be more up here and also more movement through this area involving that tail. Well, I'm curious how tall this is. It'd be interesting to have uh, a human for scale or some trees or something so we understand the scale. But that to me is... That. And you can see the softness a bit here. Also, looking at the feet, I will probably not have... And again, I would have to research. But to me, it seems like it's almost too much heel down. Almost like a human. Where I would... To me, it feels like you want to delay this as much as you can. And it's kind of a, thump, like a flap. Where it's fairly flat in its, in its plop and less heel. But don't quote me on this. That's just kind of the feeling that I have when I watch this. But the main thing to me is that I will keep those toes uh, closer together. And then, boom, on impact, you open them a bit, but not completely. And then as you do your passing, when all the weight is on this, that's when it really compresses. And then there's more spreading of the toes. So you come down and then on the plant, it's maybe this far apart. So here and here. And then just a little bit of squash on impact, but not 100%. You want to wait a bit, a little bit of a little bit continuing, but not too much. And then rah, during this, during that lifting, more spreading. Now, given how slowly those legs come up, to me, it seems like you want to have a bit more side to side, a little bit more in translate and a bit more in Y to rotate just for the weight shift. It seems like it's pretty... You know, as it goes up, it's pretty straight down as so much weight goes over. I would, I would experiment and kind of push that side to side a bit more. I do like your your uh, rotation there on the head. That's cool. Probably play with a bit asymmetry more on those, on those arms. And they feel ever so slightly tied to the chest during this section. How that area and this, they all kind of move as one I would loosen that up a bit it feels like from this view you would curl them more but I would probably from this view reduce that that tail amount almost to a point where we won't, won't even see it from the front it seems a bit it seems a bit wavy back there then again I have to admit I'm not I'm not a specialist here on an expert on that type of dinosaur. Mostly it would be from dinosaurs I would see from the movies, but I would have to look at more research and see, you know, the scale. I actually, to be honest, again, I don't know the scale of this dinosaur. It looks fairly big and heavy, also given the timing that you're you're adding this. But if it is that heavy, again, I would give the tail a bit more, a bit more gravity, so it's not so straight. It seems to be. So straight would be for a smaller dinosaur and that would be walking faster. That being said, it's cool. I'm not saying it's not cool. Just those are kind of, to me, are the first impressions when I, when I see that. These are kind of the things that I would do. All right. That's it. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whatever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.